90 degrees out, although it's more like 95, and in the sunlight it's like 100 degrees out. Really, really hot today. And 50% humidity, although I feel like that's a little bit higher. And it's probably going to increase because it's supposed to rain a little bit later. As you can see, this thing's kind of in the sunlight right now because it is almost 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, this is a west-facing window. Um, some might say that this thing is working harder. Especially now that I have it on high and set to 70 degrees, which means that it kicks off at 68 degrees. Oh no, it's working harder. And also, the, the drain plug has been pulled on this thing. There is still condensation built up, like you can hear it. Well, if I turn it to low, you can hear it. And even with the drain plug out, it's still filling up with water. There's so much freaking humidity. It's so, it's so much condensation being built up. Oh no, it's not efficient anymore. I just, I just took away its efficiency. Even though, wise words from the air conditioner guy. Um, that, um, energy efficiency ratings are the biggest fucking scam in HVAC. And that I 100% agree with. Because it is, it is a total load of bullcrap. Um, this is this unit, this one I've been running on high today. I ran out on low this morning, and it's been holding up fine. It's been keeping the room at around 73, which is fine considering it's like 95 degrees outside. It's so 70, 73 feels makes this room feel like an ice box, even though it isn't. Is the big hire running on? I believe me. A little warm in this room, but this one's got condensation too. I'll do better for you. Sorry, my parents are arguing downstairs as always. That's why I whisper in my videos. And it's not because of my mom, it's because of her woman friends. Likes to complain to me about everything. GE is starting to come together. Um, I will be working on that today, so that video will come out after this one. Units are quiet when they're on low. That one's always quiet though. Nice and cold coming out of both of them. Nice, nice cold air. Yeah, but it's nice enough in here. I'll turn this one down on low as well. Hey, listen to all that. It's nasty today. Yeah, I'll get to that in another video. Um, yeah. Very, very hot today. And it's supposed to get even hotter later in the day. It's supposed, it's probably gonna get up to, uh, to mid upper 90s today, especially with all the sunlight. And it is most imperative in this house, especially, that the grills can aim upwards. Is because... You see that water damage? It's everywhere. The roof on this house is not in the best shape, let's just put it that way. 
and um, there's water damage everywhere. A lot of the heat comes in through the ceiling. And so, if it's just aiming like straightish downish, kind of like the way they normally do, it's not tackling that heat coming from the ceiling, and eventually it just it, it just does not cut it. And thankfully, the one in here is the only one that I need to aim, the only one I need to put cardboard on, because the big hire has an adjustable grill, and the little GE always aims upward anyways. Um, I'll tell you guys what, though, if I can get the Gold Star like fan motor fixed up then that's definitely a given it's definitely going in this room because i love the sound of that thing's compressor i should probably get the fan going in here really and also before you guys go Before you click off this video, um, here, let me see where the... no, this was it. Oh, there we go. About the Gold Star's motor. Damn it, you can't see it. I don't have a light, but th there is. There you go, you can kind of see right there, there's clips on the motor, they're like, practically like part of the motor. If anybody can tell me how to get that motor apart, um, thank you very much if you were able to tell me how to get that motor apart. Because, I, I don't know how, I don't know how to get it apart, I've tried multiple times to get it apart and it just isn't cutting it. Because I'd love to get this thing working because... It uses R22 and it has a lovely sounding LG compressor. I'm gonna, leave that fan, I'm gonna leave my little fan going in there just to circulate the air a bit better because it's really st stifling in there. That's gonna do for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.